Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a Sunday in FIFA. It's been a quiet weekend, sweating foot champs. We did get some content yesterday on Saturday, but I want to talk about what everybody's going to be focused on this week because it looks like it could be coming soon. Based off of the dates and what this next Friday is, March 19th, that is actually the anniversary of the day when FIFA Ultimate Team was released back 12 years ago, I believe, 12 years ago, 2009 is when FIFA Ultimate Team was released. So we are getting ever closer to foot birthday and this Friday would be a perfect time for EA to drop foot birthday. So we're going to start talking about that today because with that promo comes a lot of stuff. And of course, since we don't even have it confirmed or whatever, this is all speculation and stuff, but I think there's going to be some cool cards that come that come because EA rarely mess up for birthday. Foot birthday is always a sick promo and that's why I want to talk about it and maybe even help you guys prepare for it a little bit as well. But yesterday on Saturday, we had this content. We had a Lamar and a Rudiger showdown for the Champions League game that is taking place this Wednesday on the 17th. Uh, these SBCs are both priced around 200 to 210,000 coins. Uh, Rudiger's card looks decent, uh, but then you look at the in-game stats and you realize, hey, this isn't that good. 84 sprint speed, but 69 acceleration, 70 or 67 agility, 59 balance. So even with a stat boost, this card, I don't even know if it's worth 200,000 coins. If you compare him to Gold Van Dyke, you might as well just go buy Gold Van Dyke. But the Lamar card looks a bit more interesting. Again, if they draw, it's a plus one boost, which I don't think they can draw. I'm not sure what the um, aggregate score is, but it's, if the game itself is a draw, plus one boost for each of these players, plus two boost uh, for an outright win for Atletico Madrid or for Chelsea. So that is kind of going on right now. We have a couple what-if upgrades that are confirmed for this week as well. Sancho and Dortmund got their, they got two goals this weekend. So that puts Sancho over the six goal threshold for him to get upgraded. And he's actually dropped down a decent amount. There's a lot of stuff going on with the what-if cards today. Uh, Conte is down a bunch and Sancho is down a bunch post game uh, as we were watching this it's kind of crazy to me these guys have really dropped so much post game I'm actually a little bit interested in this to see how low this goes uh, for a potential rebound because I think people are kind of just selling this because they know the the upgrade is kind of guaranteed and it's coming and uh, this supply on Sancho is looking really really thin so I'm going to definitely be keeping a watch on this card because I do think that as the hype builds into Wednesday for that upgrade he could rise back up in price a little bit. And then also, N'Golo Kante and Chelsea, uh, this car dropped off a lot. And he's back up 100K from where he was. We knew this panic selling was going to get too low and bounce back. But Chelsea uh, have only one game left to play for the potential upgrade for this card to Kante. They had to score three goals. And that next game for them is not until April 3rd or something like that. There's like a couple breaks coming up. Um, so... The next Chelsea League game is April 3rd or something like that. So this content card won't even have potential to get upgraded until then. And uh, they have to score three goals in that game to get this card over that three or the six goal threshold. So this card dropped off from about 2.4 million coins down to about 1.75. Now it's back up to about 1.9. So we'll see if this rebounds back up even higher. But this seems to be kind of where it might have bounced back up after the panic selling um, on that content card, which is very interesting. You had Benzema as well. Benzema scored two goals today for Real Madrid. This guy went to 370,000 coins uh, after he scored the second goal for them. I think it was like in the 90th minute. Right now, Flippin has him at 315, but that is not correct. He's 330. This might rise a little bit into the team of the week hype, but Benzema already has three informs. So I don't know if a two goal performance is good enough to get him a fourth inform. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's going to be upgraded on Wednesday, but we... We'll see. As for the rest of the market, a lot of stuff got really high on Friday night, especially icon moments. Some of these cards, I bought a Mane today to try to flip. Um, I'm hoping that he get he gets rare again tonight on Saturday night. We'll see if that works out well for us. I got that in the low 1.8s. But a lot of stuff is fluctuating around. A lot of these cards, you're starting to see open bid listings. You're starting to see prices drop a little bit because people are selling their cards after the weekend, right? They're getting their games in, they're selling their cards, and they're getting their coins. And of course, with this talk of foot birthday coming around, um, 518 for Pogba. If I saw 500, I'd buy that. But 
with the talk of foot birthday coming, that's got a lot of people getting interested in, um, do I need to sell the cards that I just bought for my team? We know the market just kind of recovered from a crazy, crazy couple days last week with foot player days with the icon player pick SBC. Um, but it could be, we could be in for a little bit more selling because I think people are gonna sell cards ahead of foot birthday. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you today to talk about why that might happen and also to maybe help you guys prepare a little bit beforehand uh, if we do see a lot of price drops start to happen this week because I think you're gonna see people start to sell stuff. I really do think you will because Foot Birthday is never a miss of a promo. It's always a hit, right? And the big thing with Foot Birthday that everybody gets hyped about is the skill moves and the weak foot upgrades. Five-star skill move upgrades, five-star weak foot upgrades. We show, I showed you guys the team from last year. You remember this team from last year. They don't miss, right? Foot birthday does not miss. Mbappe, Hazard, Griezmann, Rashford, position changes through here. Uh, right wing, St. Maximin. Of course, this card was was crazy, right? Five-star skills, five-star weak foot, upgrades for a lot of these cards. And the players that are in these teams are big name players, right? Sissoko, right? We, we, we looked through this team, number one. Two-week promo from last year, too. So we had Pogba, Lacazette, Di Maria, Bale, Bakayoko, Van Dyke. Teo Hernandez. Uh, so a lot of big names get into foot birthday and a lot of big boosts happen. Now, I think I think this is the way the EA will go about it again. Hopefully they do the five-star skill move boost and the five-star, uh, or sorry, five-star skill move and five-star weak foot boost because that's what people look forward to the most alongside of position changes. Uh, and since this Friday is the 19th, that is legit the day that FIFA Ultimate Team was first released and announced March 19th, 2009, 12 years ago. So it seems like we'll probably see some loading screens this week. We're going to be talking about it throughout the week. And if your stuff is up, if you bought a team or if you bought some cards, especially some of these gold items, right? Like we're talking about uh, Mbappe, who I think is like 680,000 coins uh, up from where he was when he was down to like um, lower 600K range with all the panic from last week. If you have some of these cards in your team, I would recommend getting them out early because, um, you know, as we get closer and closer to foot birthday, I'm not saying this, this Friday is going to be a foot birthday, but um, if you can rock with an untradeable team for a couple days, that might be a decent shout. Also, League One Player of the Month is coming this week too. We'll talk about that a little bit later uh, in the Market Outlook video. Um, but all I'm saying is, is that when you're watching the weekend league sell-off this weekend, or if you're seeing prices still being kind of high on some stuff that is out of packs, you know, some of these what-if cards, a lot of people bought these. You know, if you bought some what-ifs, you know, obviously we're seeing what happens post game. Richarlison's down to 1.05. He was 1.2 earlier today. Um, Dalvin scored a couple goals. He's even down a little bit from where he was. We we talked about the Sancho and the Conte. If you bought some cards that have went up a lot since they um, dropped a lot earlier last week, it might be a decent time to cash those out. It might be a decent, if you bought Lewandowski, he's 430, man. Lewandowski was 300,000 coins on Tuesday. Now he's 430. De Young was 210. He's now 310. So I think at the moment, now is not a terrible time to take the coins on stuff that you might have in your team that is that is bounced back, right? Uh, this uh, Bastoni car was like 170. He's back up a little bit. Some of these informs, Raheem Sterling, 427. Um, Varan, 730. He was like 650 at one point. Some of these even team of the year cards, I would expect to drop if Phil Birthday drops a huge batch of brand new hype cards in the game. So I'm not telling you to sell. I guess I'm just saying, look at your card. And if it's an investment, I would probably take the cash on an investment. But if you have a card in your team that you're going to use for the rest of the year and you don't mind a little bit of a a little bit of a drop in price on that card and you don't plan on selling it, then by all means, just hold on to it. But I just see potential with throughout the week this week, especially if loading screens come and even as the, the weekend kind of tails off, word is getting around that this Friday, March 19th is the actual date of FIFA Ultimate Team's birthday, quote unquote. So full birthday, it seems to be just set in the stars that it would be this Friday. So I know I'm making this video early and of course we don't know what's guaranteed yet, but all I'm saying is the stars are aligning and it looks like this could be happening and that this could be possible. So that's why I'm talking about this today. Now let's talk about other areas of the market, right? Icon moments. That is one area where I would probably start to see 
some of these cards that have rebounded up from where they were earlier in the week, these cards are probably going to start to dip again. And because people know that brand new items are going to come to the game, icon moments have been the types of cards people have been trying out recently. But with new cards coming to the game, people's focus are going to shift to those. And these cards are obviously still in packs. Their prices on these cards always continually like drop for most of the year because they just keep getting packed. There's more cards that come out. People have less coins till team of the season. Uh, it's, it's just all about the supply keeps on coming for these cards. So a, a lot of these guys have really gone up in price this weekend uh, since the Tuesday lightning round, since they were very supplied and there was a lot of panic. You've seen a lot of these guys bounce back up. This Makalele is like 1.8 mil, 1.9. Uh, he was 1.6 and even a couple in the 1.5s earlier this week. So he's up a decent amount. You had guys like this Petit who was down at like 1.4. He's back up at 1.7. So, you know, some of these cards, El Matador is like 1.25. This guy was a million coins flat on Friday, right? Just a couple days ago. So if, if I'm you and I have one of these in my team, I'm saying, okay, I might want to look to take the coins on some of these cards that maybe I played the weekend league with. They were good for me and my team. Um, but these icon moments would be cards that I would expect to drop off a decent amount. Now let's talk about SBC fodder for a second too, because SBC fodder as a whole is kind of back to normal. EA have regulated that market back to almost normal. Now it's still up a, up a little bit from where it was. 86s are at 29K. They were at 25, uh, 84, 84 rated cards are at 9,000 coins. They were at about seven and a half. The 83s and 84s have gone up the most percentage wise because of that party bag SBC that came out earlier. Um, but you still have eight, 91 rated players at 94,000 coins. 90 rated players are at 82K. So some of the stuff is up a little bit. Um, they could drop more. We could see something like today on a Sunday where EA maybe tries to suck more coins off the game, putting out an icon upgrade SBC before foot birthday comes so they can again try to entice people to uh, spend some FIFA points on this game. So if you are somebody who is invested in SBC fodder, you could take this chance like, hey, maybe I'm going to hold on to that a little bit. See what happens this week with content. See if EA drops another icon moments, maybe not a player pick, but like a prime icon pack. See if EA drops something like that uh, into the game. That That is something that I could see happening this week as well um, for EA maybe trying to, and uh, this Sukare might be a deal. Maybe it's not, maybe it is. Nah, it's not. Anyways, it was. He was selling at like 115, but... Um, that's just weekend league sell-off happening right there. So again, if you have fodder, maybe you hold on to that little bit. I'm not really sure what's going to make fodder drop this week unless we get like no content. We're getting League One Player of the Month. Maybe another Icon SBC coming out, of course, as well um, as people gear up for another promo. So if you have fodder that you bought and you haven't sold yet, I would consider just holding on to it because I would think that the likelihood of that going up is uh, pretty high, pretty high. I think that likelihood of that is, is going up or could happen with SBCs that could come out this week. Again, with Player of the Month, we don't have an Icon Upgrade SBC out right now. That could push things up as well. And of course, EA keep dropping these random flashbacks for players that were just added to the code. Now we got a Cavani, um, and who do we have earlier before? Joe Hart that was added to the game. So, you know, other guys like Gutsa or Balotelli or Quaresma or other cards that could be getting flashback SBCs pretty soon. Now, I want to talk about one thing that I just saw on uh, Twitter a little bit ago. And a lot of you guys are asking about winter upgrades still. Um, I'm just going to speak about this for a little bit because um, this is... There was what's going around on Twitter, right? And if you're seeing Klosterman right now on like the top of the, you know, up here in the most popular players on Footbin, this is why. So uh, there's been some tweets about Lucas Klosterman getting a plus three sprint speed update, putting him at a 91. Um, and that is for his base card in the head-to-head -head mode, right? So this does not really mean to me that we're getting winter refresh or winter upgrades. I know a lot of you guys want to know, is that going to happen? Um, but... This to me is just saying that EA put a live squad update out in the head-to-head -head mode. I don't know if EA is going to include winter refresh as a part of foot birthday. I don't know if we're doing any upgrades at all this year. A lot of you guys still want those, right? And obviously it's not really winter anymore. So that kind of stuff we're not sure about. But I wanted to kind of mention that. 
Uh, and because I know some of you guys are going to be like, yo, man, did you see these comments on Twitter? Like, yes, I see them. Unless we start seeing more. If we start seeing more comments like that, if we start seeing more people say, hey, these upgrades are happening and um, noticing stuff like that, then that's when I would start to say, all right, maybe we have something here. Maybe there's something going on. But as of right now, if it's just Klosterman, then I'm not too sure about it. Um, I'm going to keep looking at some of these what-if cards, though. Richarlison is down. Sancho is down, 1.149. I'm going to be keeping an eye on, the, on these cards because this is getting pretty cheap, especially for the ones that are guaranteed to get this upgrade like Sancho. I mean, he was literally 1.2 million coins almost all day today, and he's kind of dropping right now post-game. I think people are just maybe taking their coins uh, and just selling this card post game. It really does not make sense to me why this card is down so much. So maybe I'll try to win this one here on bid for a low price if I can. But that's kind of the video for today, boys. I wanted to make an early video just kind of talking about why, you know, this week could be a big week with the content that is coming, but also looking ahead to Friday. And once people figure out the Friday is coming, then they're going to start to sell stuff because I think for birthday is a promo. A lot of people are pumped for big SBCs, big packs. Imagine upgrade packs and player picks during full birthday. If we get a team like we had last year, everybody's going to go bananas for it. So that's why I made this video for today. Not trying to cause panic, right? Let's get that clear. Just kind of assessing the situation and trying to get that information to you. So if you like this video, hit a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you later. Peace.